So here are two reasons why women are failing at dating today is what I want to talk about. So look, as we all may be well aware of, is that there are a lot of women out there who are taking part of the whole trend of, you know, improving their bodies outwardly, of course. And many of these women would have, I would say, what you would call body dysmorphia, all right? So where they, they go through, you know, certain lengths or extents to get the proper body. And so their whole MO when it comes to dating is to be uh, seen as attractive, you know, wearing sex appeal. And with that, in, in turn, they seek a form of validation, all right? So that's that's pretty prevalent right now, what we have going on in our society is everyone wants to be seen and liked physically, all right? Here is where this becomes confusion, all right? So when you put yourself out there to be seen and to be liked and to be you know, doted upon to have, you know, guys or girls salivating all over you. When you do that, you kind of set yourself up for failure, especially if you are trying to date, you know, you know, you want to be with someone or see someone on a regular basis. All right. Which could ultimately lead into a relationship. So where does the confusion lie? Here's where many of you are putting yourself out there so much, like on IG, you know, social media with your pics, and majority of the, the pictures and photos are merely of you and your body. Maybe you out with your girls, but everything is about the way you look versus other photos as well of you, you know, going for a hike, having someone take a photo of you in the library actually reading a book or something else that shows your personality shows more about who you are and if you stand for something if you have you know some sort of integrity or just an outside um or or a life you understand to be seen in a different light because if someone sees you you know, up and down their, their feed and they click on your page. First they say, oh wow, and, you know, whatever. You know, she's hot. And so they click on you and they go to look at your page and everything there is just you and your body, you know? And we have to remember that men are very visual creatures. They see everything. Not only do they see your big boobs and your big butt, they also see insecurities. They also see if you are weak. You understand? And then you, you, you attract a certain type. And when that type clicks on your, you know, your image and they go to your page and they see you in your bikini and all of that and they reach out to you, all right? Granted, they are interested, just know that. And when they make contact after they shot their shot and you give in and then here comes the compliments, oh, you're so beautiful. You know, I would love to take you out. Oh, you're so pretty. So you're going to hear uh, you're pretty, you're beautiful a lot. All right. There's an agenda behind that. There's an ulterior motive. Okay. Just know that them saying how beautiful you look and how fly and hot you are. Trust me, it is not for no reason at all. Because after you've been on a date or so, you're going to begin to see that this person is going to try to reel you in. You know, either they're going to try to get you to open up in a way sexually or, you know, hey, they're going to try, you know, make a move and see what they can get because of what you've been showing them. They want to put it to the test. All right. But see, here's where the confusion lies. Either you're going to reject and say, oh, no, 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 I'm not about that because now you want someone to see you as girlfriend material or wifey, <laughs> but no, they've seen you otherwise and they want to, you know, see what's, what's really good. And if you reject that, well then 
it's like, well, that's not the way you, that's not the energy you were giving me on social media. You're giving me, you know, like, hey, I'm sexy. I got sex appeal. Come get it. That's what you're giving. However, on the flip side of that, if you do decide to give in because you think there, w there will be something else, you know, you actually go all the way with them, give them exactly what they came for. And then when they realize, okay, this is it, that was whack. So all of this sexiness that you were giving online, and then when they get it, it's like, it's whack. For lack of a better term. It wasn't what was giving to them. And, you know, with that, you may get, you know, the whole ghosting thing. They may do a slow fade on you because you wasn't all cracked up to what they, you know, thought you'd be. All right. They're now confused. Like you gave all of this sexy vibes and sexy energy, yet you, you're not giving at all in the bedroom. And so, and, and that's a lot of problems. That's a problem that many guys and women, of course, are having today. You're giving mixed signals and it's it's confusing. It's like, do you want me to like you for your intelligence, your intellect, you know, your social interests, your hobbies, your education? Do you want me to be attracted to that? Or do you want me just to solely see you physically and in a sexual manner? Because that's what's going to happen. And so when they get you and it's like, eh, this is it. I want no more of this because you didn't give them anything else to feed on. To, to want to be interested in. You understand what I'm saying? So that's confusion in that regard when women are failing at being in relationships that you know, you're basically shooting your own self in the foot, so to speak, because you, you're you being seen otherwise than versus the way you should be seen. The other way that women are confusing and just finding all kinds of ways to just to fail when it comes to being in a real wholesome long-term relationship that I, that could actually lead to marriage. So here's what I've been noticing is that a lot of women out there, you're going on these dates and you have this serious mentality. You come off as, you know, wifey material and the guy that you're with, you know, you're quite inquisitive about how established that he is, you know, you're all into, okay, so what are your moves for the next five years? It's all about the stability of what the connection could be. And I think a lot of men are taken aback by that because what they're experiencing, and I've seen this in many, in, not many, but quite a few comments recently where guys are like, okay, I understand that a woman is, you know, kind of in a rush to get married, but at the same time, you're taking me on this full on interview about my investments and my financial and all of this, but you're not giving me anything to let me know that you're going to make me feel emotionally secure. Whereas you're so invested in me trying to keep you financially secure. You understand? And so a lot of men are running into that. It's like, okay, you want a husband, but it doesn't seem like you want someone to hold you at night and keep you warm and have those long conversations before, you know, pillow talk and stuff like that. You're just all about, okay, well, will you be able to do this? I have two children. So do you think you'll be able to take care of my children? Are you ready to be a stepfather? Yet yeah, it's, it's nothing really about becoming a dynamic duo, like a loving couple. And the questions are just so hard. There's there's no, it's, it's not giving, you know, emotional investment. It's not giving any of that. And a lot of guys are confused by that. It's like, okay, yes, I want to get married. Sure, I take your kids on, but you're not giving me anything that makes me feel like I'm going to be emotionally satisfied. Like you're going to be able to give me hugs, you know, versus checking my bank account every week to see what I'm bringing in, you know, that sort of thing. So it's a lot of that going on. And ladies, I get it. I know everything with us is like a time crunch. But at the same time, if you are looking for something substantial and long-term, you're gonna have to let that guy know, hey, as much as I'm expecting this from you, I'm willing to give you this in return. But that, it has to be genuine. 
Like a guy will know if you're BSing him. All right. He, he already knows if you're the type to, you know, rub his hand or hold his hand when he's having a bad day, give him a hug, you know, show him some, he can tell that. But if you're all about what your financial status is going to be, are you going to be able to help me pay for the wedding? You know, you're already having all these plans in your head that you've had since you were five years old, which is weird. But yeah, and then you're sabotaging your own fate. Okay. And guys, if, if this is, if I'm being, if I'm telling this the right way, I should be telling it, please like, let me know that you are in agreement with what I'm saying, because I don't think women quite understand. And I know men out there, you try to express this at some point, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Are you going to meet any of my love languages? I mean, it's, it's only two, but can you at least provide me one? You know, are you listening to him, to what he needs. Of course, men, oh, trust me, as much as you think men are not listening to you, or well, they hear you and they comprehend very well. But if they're ignoring that ish, well, then that's your answer. But yeah, I just wanted to um, state that the, the two types of women who are really sabotaging the dating world out there, you're causing a lot of confusion. You have guys who have great potential and then they meet you and then it's like, something else and it's like okay but you're giving this energy came off this way but now i'm getting this what the hell all right so just thought i'd share that for you if you do know someone like that please share this video if it is you <laughs> that i'm speaking to hey you probably need some dating coaching if so i'll be glad to help all of my information will be linked down below but as always i thank you guys for joining me that is all for now until next time